She said that was the bare minimum. She pointed out that she also contributes to our budget. She does, about 10%. She's in school, so she doesn't work much. I didn't care. I thought the plan was for her to contribute more once she got a job after graduating. Welcome to the Hollywood Halls of Magic's monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, am I the a-hole for telling my girlfriend that if all she brings to the table is S-word fun, then she shouldn't be surprised. That's all I want. But before embarking on an expedition, I thank you for the thumbs up you have given me, the subscription, and smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. This isn't incel rage bait. I'm not trying to get her to agree to be free use or become a bang maid or anything like that. My girlfriend and I were discussing our future. She used the phrase, what do you bring to the table? Seriously? It sounds to me like your girlfriend or her friends spend way too much time watching TikTok. I said to her that my job made our lifestyle possible, that I did my share of the household chores, and that I always treated her with respect. She said that was the bare minimum. She pointed out that she also contributes to our budget. She does. About 10% of our budget is from her. She's in school, so she doesn't work much. I didn't care. I thought the plan was for her to contribute more once she got a job after graduating. Slap to the back of the head. Lesson time, gentlemen. I suspect you've known her for less than four to five years and she is now living with you, and so far, she's already taken you for granted in her entitlement. In today's world, you don't move them in before the stated time. This is not your grandfather's world anymore. You need to give it a good four to five years to get to know your woman, and in the last year is when you allow her to move in as a trial run. You need to have the opportunity to observe her under all conditions, discover her gloriousness, and uncover where all the lies, deceptions, and delusions are. This takes time, patience, and vigilance. Most people can't maintain a facade for that long. If you are paying attention, their true nature or the inconsistencies in their stories begin to show. Don't be so desperate. Remember, women may control the keys to the bedroom. However, men control the keys to long-term commitment and marriage. Apparently, that's not the plan. She wants to be a stay-at-home mom to our dogs because we're child-free. So I said as a joke, if that's all she brings to the table is sex, then I'd expect it all the time. You may have meant it as a joke. However, what you're saying is kind of rational and reasonable. However, I'll come back to that. She didn't take it that way. She said that I earn enough for both of us and that she'd be doing lots of other things for us. She claimed that thinking of her as just for S-word fun is demeaning. I asked her for examples, but she couldn't give any except her half of the chores. So she'd want me to work, support her, do half the housework in return for exactly what? Watching my dogs? I said, that wasn't going to happen. She could either contribute fairly or 
we weren't going to work because I don't want a bang made. Manly pat on the back. It's about time you called her out on her crap. Your boundary game at that moment was so strong, even Houdini couldn't escape it. Women do not respect weakness, nor can they love a weak man. Most may not like to, like to admit it, but for many, on a primal level, they subconsciously seek a man who won't hesitate to put them in their place, even if they won't admit it. Also, her comment of, you earn enough for both of us, is indicative of, your money is our money, and my money is my money. In the comment section below, type 1 if you've experienced this. I said it wasn't going to happen. She could either contribute fairly, or we weren't going to work because I don't want a bang made. I also want to save money. Right now, I'm subsidizing her life. So I'm not putting as much into my retirement as I'd like. Um, why? She's using you for the lifestyle you can provide and the free ride you provide. If this girl was a wife and mother material, since you carry 90% of the financial responsibilities, you should be coming home to a clean house and dinner on the table, of course, depending upon her class schedule, and she would be doing 60 to 90% of the chores. Is this what you get? No. You have an entitled princess pushing to see how much she can get away with. Need I remind you that you created this little monster? You taught her how to treat you. Plus, I have to wonder how, which one of her girlfriends or college courses put these delusional expectations in her head. She said she wasn't serious about saying staying home, but she was angry with me for what I said. I was just trying to make light of what I thought was a ridiculous idea. Okay, now she's trying to manipulate you via gaslighting. She tested the waters and it didn't get the response she thought. Now she's going to pull the I was joking card. She is not only lying to your face, but a blatant lack of accountability. Brother, I'm sorry. I know you can't see this, but you are just a financial way station until she finds a beta bitch which more, with more potential in college. The first guy who comes along who she thinks she can get a better deal with, she will monkey branch to, and you'll look back on all those wasted resources and think, for what? Look guys, I'm so sure of this, I'm willing to bet money on it. He doesn't say it. However, how much do you want to bet she is going for one of those useless degrees? The main reason she's going to college is to get her MRS degree. Sure, she won't admit it, but most women in college administration offices know how true that still is. My brother, kick this one to the curb. She's entitled, manipulative, and looking for someone to give her a free ride until she can divorce him and take more than half. If you are paying for any of her college expenses, stop now. If you stupidly choose to, then she needs to sign a legal promissory note so that down the road, if you want, you can take her to court when she screws you over. Protect yourself, dude. This includes using protection since, in my view, this personality type is not above baby trapping. Should the unthinkable happen, get a DNA test. Make arrangements to meet your responsibilities and financial obligations and do not marry her. That will be a huge mistake. In the comments below, give your thoughts as to what you think he should do or has done. If you found value in this video, 
please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from my channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and for stopping by. I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. Through this, you are helping men improve to lead a life of purpose, prosperity, and focus. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, give them a thumbs up, a comment, and this helps the algorithm show my work to more people, and that supports me so I can make more content for you.